Sean Diddy Combs is facing another civil lawsuit, adding to the increasing legal challenges he has encountered since late last year. This new lawsuit was filed by fashion designer Brianna Bana Bongalan, who accused the rapper of sexual battery, infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment. The incident allegedly involved Diddy threatening to kill her and dangling her over a balcony. A representative for Sean Diddy Combs has denied these claims, stating that the rapper is confident they will ultimately be proven baseless. This week, Bondalen joined the list of individuals who have filed civil lawsuits against Diddy in recent months. According to details obtained by Rolling Stone, the fashion designer accused Diddy of sexual battery, infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment. The claims stem from an altercation with the rapper, which ended with him allegedly dangling her over a 17th floor balcony while making threats. In her lawsuit, Bondaland's attorney, James R. Neckrafter, criticized Diddy and urged him to take responsibility for his actions. The filing stated, the only purpose of dangling someone over a balcony is to actually kill them or to intentionally terrorize them and rob them of any concept of dominion over their own bodily autonomy and safety. It continued, Miss Bongolan refuses to allow this fear to control the rest of her life and brings this action to demand that Mr. Combs takes responsibility for the trauma he intentionally and maliciously inflicted. Bongolan explained that she was introduced to Diddy by his ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Cassie Ventura, whom she worked with at the popular Los Angeles store Diamond Supply Co. around 2014. She claimed that her closeness to Ventura made her witness numerous instances of the rapper abusing his ex-girlfriend. According to Bondalan, these incidents continued for a while before culminating in the altercation she had with Diddy on the day he allegedly dangled her over Ventura's balcony. In response to Bondalan's claims, a representative for Diddy told the outlet that the rapper is unbothered by it and believes it will be proven baseless. The representative stated, anyone has the right to file a lawsuit, regardless of the evidence they may or may not have. They added, since last year, Miss Bongolan has expressed an intention to sue Mr. Combs and has sought legal representation to pursue her claims. Mr. Combs firmly denies these serious allegations and remains confident they will ultimately be proven baseless. Recently, Diddy faced another setback in his attempts to secure bail before his trial scheduled for May 2025. Through his attorneys he had proposed a substantial bail package, including several conditions alongside a $50 and million bond. However, Judge Arun Subramanian ruled in favor of the prosecutors, marking the third time Diddy had been denied bail. The ruling stated, the court finds that the government has shown by clear and convincing evidence that no condition or combination of conditions will reasonably assure the safety of the community. Subramanian also mentioned in his ruling that federal prosecutors had presented compelling evidence of Combs's propensity for violence, including a viral 2016 video showing him assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassandra Cassie Ventura. Earlier in the month, five victims filed civil suits against Diddy through Texas-based attorney Tony Busby. Court documents revealed that three victims were allegedly assaulted by the music mogul between 2001 and 2004, while the timeline for a fourth victim remains undisclosed. One victim claimed that Diddy attempted to assault him at an after-party in Miami after drugging him. Another victim alleged she was still a minor when she was drugged and assaulted by the rapper during one of his 4th of July parties. Two other males also claimed they were drugged and assaulted by the Revolve co-founder. One mentioned it occurred while working with Diddy for a video role and that the rapper's bodyguard was also involved in the assault. Meanwhile, another mentioned that he was assaulted at a party at Diddy's New York City home.